here. Um, I probably should apologize to Pierre because I knew the first talk on Sunday would would be a little slow to get started. Uh, but none, nonetheless, um, Pierre's talk is going to be extremely important. But before I do that, um, I would like to present another public invention award to Megan Cadena, who is the staff person who is making all the little links, which are very important here. Um, this will be shipped to her. This says best staff contribution presented to Megan D. Cadena for outreach coordination. There she is. Thank you. Um, Megan, this may not be obvious. Um, Public Convention is mostly a volunteer organization. I don't get paid. Um, the only people who have been paid by Public Invention are Megan and um, Nathaniel. Nathaniel is a, a teenager in Montreal who did a great demo um, yesterday. And um, while I'm here, I'd like to present the second most important award as well. Um, in Public Convention, we consider the inventors themselves to be the most important people. And yesterday I gave Nathaniel Beshard um, the best public inventor award of 2021, which is the highest award that we present. But perhaps the most important award um, for carrying forward is for invention coach. And so I would like to present to Victor Sutrin the best invention coach of 2021 award for Polyvent. <laughs> okay, um, thank you. <laughs> It's extremely important to have people who can lead teams. It's, that's the hardest skill for us to find. And so if, if, you're, if you're able to lead a team, we'd like to talk to you about um, joining public convention and possibly leading a team. It could be one of our ideas or it could be one of your ideas, as long as it's um, uh, aligned with the mission of public convention. We are a US public charity. Um, we need volunteers and we need money like almost all of the nonprofits uh, that are in the conference today. So now I'm probably forgetting something as, as I always do, but I'd like to introduce Pierre Longchamp. Um, Pierre, uh, I probably don't know all of his qualifications, but he acts as a regulatory consultant, which is incredibly important because you can't save people's lives legally without knowing the things that, that Pierre has been teaching to the open source community for the last two years. Um, in a number of ways, starting at Helpful Engineering and in other talks that he's given and everything, Pierre has really been the one professional regulatory consultant, and I believe his firm is called Diapson Consulting, he can correct me, um, who has put a lot of time without pay into teaching all of us issues about regulatory um, uh, things, which it is necessary for the safety and reliability of devices and also for the legality of those devices. Um, so I forgot, oh no, I didn't. Okay, so um, with further ado, um, uh, Pierre, can you please start? Thank you, everybody. Um, and maybe the other panelists should should mute un, until they're um, saying something. And let me remind everybody, um, we do ask you to submit questions using the Q&A tool, which you'll find at the bottom of your Zoom chat if you're in the audience here. Um, you can also put them in the Zoom chat, uh, but please use the Q&A tool as well. Thank you. Go ahead, Pierre. Uh, Okay, um, those of you who have asked extra questions, James Coburn, I'm afraid we're gonna have to answer that in Rehive, uh, if you can go there. Um, now, uh, 